Hi. Um, you haven't seen me in a while, and um, I'm just here right now to um, talk to you about our last trip. Uh, we went backpacking in Saint Zenon at uh, Parc des Sept and uh, I didn't do really videos or anything um, except like um, there was waterfalls and stuff like that. So um, yeah, so we went uh, backpacking up. Uh, well, actually, I didn't think it was going up a mountain where we were going to base camp. Uh, I actually thought it was going to be flat. So, yeah, so I we backpacked and I did not backpack very ultralight because I thought I was doing only one kilometer and it would be very flat. So, uh, I didn't really pack accordingly. Um... <laughs> I brought uh, Italian sausages for supper and I brought um, steaks and baked potatoes and uh, yeah um, and uh, we brought our big uh, car camping mattresses with the big pump I said one kilometer what's one kilometer you know so we'll we're gonna sleep uh, comfortably at night and stuff after hiking because uh, we were going to hike uh, two mountains one mountain on Friday and one mountain on Saturday and we're coming back on Sunday so anyways um, yeah uh, so we got to our campsite which was not on uh, level it wasn't uh, easy to get there it was like hiking up a mountain with all, a lot of rocks roots uh, but we did see waterfalls when we were going up we had to go like a little a little ways on the other side of the, of, of the trail but we did go and it was beautiful um, what else it was a nice uh, weekend anyways uh, we did go up those two two mountains um, Mont Brassard and Mont Barriere uh, Mont Brassard is a, a amazing views all through the hike really really nice um, oh yeah, we had um, little uh, misadventures too. Um, well, we didn't. We we never camped with three mattresses, uh, car camping mattresses, uh, in our tent, and we brought our dog Zoe. So, well, my husband volunteered to take his mattress out and sleep on the floor with the dog because there wasn't enough space for the dog and three mattresses um, and um, we got there to the campsite and it had said that there was a platform we could put the tent on well there was no platform there was practically no place to put the tent so we had to we actually had to figure um, to put the mattresses up where there were big rocks Oh my god, it was really horrible as far as the campsite was. And uh, yeah, we were like really close to the hiking trail, so people would just pass by. They didn't see us, but we could hear them. And the dog could hear them, so she would bark after them. Um, she really appreciated the lake that we were right beside. Uh, she would just go and jump in the lake and enjoy it and get refreshed because it was very, very hot. Um, the bugs were really bad on the Friday when we got there, but uh, the rest of the weekend we didn't have any bugs or anything really worth mentioning. It was really good. And, um, what else? Oh yeah, <laughs> it's kind of a pine forest. Yeah, like a Christmas tree forest. So there wasn't much wood to burn that was worth that we could burn to eat on and even starting a fire was practically impossible with the wood that was there it was wet it was humid um, and I don't know it was really 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 good uh, we were able to make little fires uh, to cook our food um, because I didn't bring anything except my jet boil to boil water for the coffees and stuff like that uh, I didn't bring any mountain well I do I did bring some mountain house but we had it for lunch 
on it one of the days so um we uh well we cooked our our suppers on birch bark because we could find birch bark but no birch like trees we could get and there was no dead standing trees either so we couldn't find that uh, and every all the ones we found were wet I, I don't know what kind of temperature they have up there but anyways um, so yeah birch bark and twigs that's what we cooked our suppers on and forget the the potatoes and the tin foil we couldn't cook those so yeah we ate sparingly um, what else what else there was something that happened but I don't forget anyways I'll let you view the pictures and the videos and uh, hopefully we'll have another adventure soon um, I know I will be going in September it's definitive where I'm going to uh, backpack on an island in the middle of the st. Lawrence River so it's about five and a half hours from here um, I will be doing something before that, definitely. Um, I have uh, this week. I want to go uh, hiking. I haven't ha went hiking since my last trip. Uh, I've been doing the. Uh, I've been uh, reading on, on and doing the ketogenic diet, the uh, way of eating. Uh, so that's being pre preoccupying my days. And uh, apart from going to work, and I am going to the gym. So, um, but uh, this week, uh, hopefully it's not too humid, hot and humid, I'll be going hiking. I'm not sure exactly where yet. Uh, I might go to Gatineau Park and uh, hike uh, the Wolf Trail because I've been wanting to go for a while. Uh, I went to go once, but we got there too late to do the trail. Um, there was no parking. So we will, I will try, maybe, I might go this week, maybe Wednesday or Thursday, I'm not sure, um, depending, depending on the weather. And uh, this weekend I'm working, but the next weekend I'm not. So uh, I will try, we, I might try to go on a little camping, hiking trip there, or maybe backpacking. I really, I'm really in, in need of going to Frontenac Provincial Park, I miss it. I mean, uh, I usually go in May, but this year we went we went somewhere else in May. Oh no, I went uh, backpacking up that mountain and camping on the top of the mountain. That, that's what I did in May. But I usually go backpacking in Frontenac. So now I'm like missing my Frontenac, I didn't go. Um, but I am going in October. I took vacation time to go in October. Like I usually go, I go every year in October. It's the best time to go that in May so uh, I'll see maybe Frontenac maybe uh, well, I don't know maybe a new place somewhere like I went last time in Quebec in uh, Quebec so we will see anyways I'm still alive I'm working on this video right now that I'm making here <laughs> so it should be out soon so take care bye bye bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time it's clear to see from up here the world seems small we can sit together it's so beautiful, you and me, we meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free.
take a step back to see the truth around you from a distance you can tell.